First of all, I want to say God bless you and to all of you. And may love be the first word and the last word. But I want to ask you, you said Quran is the last testament. How can you think that a God that is alive and can see us in this very minute and have seen us since Mohammed died, Jesus died, has stopped to talk through other prophets? That's the question. Why do you say the last testament? Because the testament is witnesses from human beings having experienced how God has spoken to them. And I have experienced that during 17 years. And I have written a whole library about a live God speaking today. Thank you for your question. I think it's clear. We Muslims, we claim that this is the last testament because it answers all your problems. Whether it is palatable or not, I'm not I can't guarantee you that, that it will go down well. But it answers your problems. Now, this is what Jesus Christ had promised. You see, in the Gospel of St. John, Jesus Christ is telling his disciples, he said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Jesus, God had given him guidance to guide humanity till doomsday. But the people that he was addressing, his immediate disciples, they were not fit to receive the message. So he said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself, but what things soever shall he hear, that shall he speak. And he shall declare unto you the things that are to come. He shall glorify me, Jesus. Now, we say, who is this spirit of truth? We Muslims claim Muhammad is that spirit of truth. And we are prepared to reason with you. I know prejudices die hard. It's natural. But let us come, come, let us talk together. Let us reason together. The Bible says, come, let us reason together. The Quran says, pull, tell them. Ya Ahl al-Kitab, O Jews and Christians, talab, come. Ila kalimatin sawa'im, baynana wa baynakum. That we come to common terms as between us and you. The terms are, say, number one, Allah na'buda illallah, that we worship none but Allah, God Almighty. Don't worship men, don't worship monkeys, don't worship elephants and snakes. Worship the one and only God that there is. As the Bible says, God is spirit. And those that worship him must worship him in truth and in spirit, not in form, shape or size. That is what the Quran is appealing to you. To the Jews and the Christians come, let us get together on a common platform of worshipping the one and only God. And this book testifies that Jesus is the Christ. And in the first epistle of John, Chapter 4, verse 1, it says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. It continues, The spirit that confesseth that Jesus is the Christ is of God. This spirit, meaning the spirit, is synonymous there for a prophet. The prophet that says that Jesus is the Christ is of God. And this is the only faith after Jesus Christ, the only non-Christian faith which claims and speaks to the whole world that Jesus is the Christ. Who made us to say that? Muhammad. And your book says that whoever a prophet says that is so, he is from God.